الحمد لله رب العالمين العاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على ظالمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام والسنة All praise and thanks belong to Allah for guiding us to Islam and for guiding us to the Sunnah. An Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as-siyamu junnah fala yarfuth wa la yasghab wa fi riwayah wa la yajhal in imri'un قاتله أو شاتمه فليقول إني صائم مرتين حديث متفق عليه The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said in this hadith that is narrated on the authority of Abu Hurairah رضي الله تعالى عنه where the messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He said what translated means Fasting is a shield So the fasting person Should avoid obscenity And should avoid Behaving in a foolish manner And in another narration It states The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He states And he should not behave ignorantly And if someone fights him Or insults him Let him say I am fasting twice. This hadith has been agreed upon its authenticity by both Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim. This hadith in it therein is an evidence which shows us that when we are fasting, we are to mind our manners and we are to behave in a manner that is appropriate that we are to mind our manners and that we are to behave in an appropriate manner. We should not behave ignorantly, nor should we behave in a manner that is not appropriate for fasting, that is not appropriate for fasting. Because when we fast, this is as a means to train us and to acclimate us to those characteristics that are indicative of a person who has taqwa, of a person who they have true fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who they do what Allah ta'ala has commanded and they stay away from that which Allah ta'ala has prohibited. Allah ta'ala, he informs us in his noble book, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That fasting has been written upon you as it was written upon those who came before you in order that you achieve taqwa. And a taqwa, as aforementioned, this means that we do that which Allah Ta'ala, He has commanded us to do, and that we stay away from that which Allah Ta'ala has commanded us to stay away from. So the fasting is a means by way in which an individual will attain piety, will attain a taqwa. So therefore the fasting person, he should behave in a manner that is Indicative to a taqwa that is illustrative of a taqwa and the like. So it is important that we leave alone that all of those evil and bad characteristics that will contradict the very yani spirit of fasting. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said in another narration, "Man lam yada qawl al zur." والعمل به والجهل فليس لله حاجة في أن يدع طعام طعامه وشرابه. He said that whoever does not give up false speech and acting in accordance to it and behaving ignorantly, then Allah is in no need that that person leave off their food and their drink. نعم, because fasting. It's not about leaving all food and drink only. It's not just about the abandonment of food and drink. But fasting 
It is about the abandonment of all of those ugly and heinous and unpraiseworthy characteristics that we leave off all of those ugly and nasty and lowly characteristics, then this takes precedence because while we are fasting, we are abstaining from food and drink, which outside of fasting are permissible. Whereas those things that are mentioned here in this narration from false speech and acting in accordance to it and the like, then all of these things are prohibited all year round while fasting and while not fasting in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan. These things are prohibited. So if when we are fasting, we are staying away from things from food and drink that during other times are permissible, then it takes precedence that we will stay away from those things that are forbidden all of the time. It takes precedence that those things that are always haram are avoided and that we stay away from them. So this is very important that we remember this and that we remember the statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said As-Siyamu Jannah that the fasting then it is a shield and this is yani, we really need to understand this the fasting it is a shield because it will shield us from falling into these horrible and ugly characteristics it is a reminder for a person that his state is not like his ordinary state so therefore he should act in a manner that is appropriate for the occasion he should act in a manner that is appropriate since he is fasting so therefore it will be a shield from him it will shield him from any type of obscenity any type of vulgar speech behaving in a foolish manner and the like it should rather uh deter him from the likes of these characteristics unfortunately some people they fast from food and drink while still indulging in obscenities in foolish behavior so on and so forth the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said in a, in a hadith as-siyam jannah ka jannati ahadikum min al-qital that fasting is a shield just like a shield of one that one of you has yani for fighting just like a shield that one of you has when they're fighting yani so we know the importance of a shield and its functionality when a person is engaged in armed combat now the fasting is a shield like this it will protect the individual from that which will harm them in this case what will harm an individual obscenity acting in inappropriate manners false speech and the like these things are harmful and they should be looked at as being harmful just as harmful as a sharp sword coming towards one's neck as a sharp sword coming towards one's head as a sharp sword coming to sever one's fingers we should look at obscenity and we should look at false speech and acting in accordance to it as as dangerous or even more so dangerous than the sharpest sword being yielded by a skilled swordsman who possesses an extreme amount of strength and we are their target so we should look at these things as being even more dangerous because the effect that they will have is even more detrimental in any event it is incumbent that while we are fasting that we mind our manners that we mind our manners and that we are mindful of what we do we are mindful of what we say so we do not act foolishly meaning that we do not yell and scream and talk over one another we do not act in a manner that is conducive with ignorance that we should not behave ignorantly that we should not behave in a manner that opposes patience 
that we should not do anything from the actions that are the actions of a person who is impatient, who is ignorant, who is putting things outside of their right place because Al-Jahl, as the ulama, they explain, وَضْعُ الشَّيْءْ فَغَيْرِ مَوْضِعِ is that you put something in other than its proper place. So when we're fasting, we ought to be mindful. So we're not saying things that we don't need to say. We are not saying things that are inappropriate. We are not acting in manners that are inappropriate. We are not putting things in the wrong place. We are not misappropriating our speech nor our actions that we are not misappropriating our gaze so we shouldn't be looking at things that we should not be looking at that we are not misappropriating the use of our ears so we're not listening to things that we should not be listening to that we act in a manner that is appropriate that we use our eyes in a manner that is appropriate that we use our ears in a manner that is appropriate that we use our limbs in a manner that is appropriate that we behave in a manner that is appropriate that we do not behave ignorantly and if someone interacts with us in a manner that is not conducive, that is not appropriate, then we ought to remind them, I am fasting. I am fasting. So as to give them an indication that one, I am fasting. I am worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right now. So therefore, I will not engage you in the likes of this conversation. I will not engage you in the likes of this exchange that I have the ability to meet you and to return to you in like that in which you have given to me. But I am fasting, so I will not. I am fasting, so I will not respond. I am fasting, so I will not answer you. Not because I am incapable, but because I am fasting and I'm trying to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I'm not going to respond. Although I could respond, I'm not going to. So we remind ourselves of what is going on so that we stay in our yani, proper place. We stay in our proper mindset. That we do not go outside and act outside of ourselves in a manner that is ignorant just because a person is addressing us in a, in a way that is ignorant. So we remind ourselves and we, and we remind them and tell them and inform them, I am fasting. Meaning that what? This type of conversation, this type of speech, this manner in which you are speaking, this tone, so on and so forth. This is not appropriate. This is not the time. I am fasting. And that ignorant stuff never is the time whether fasting or not fasting, but definitely while fasting, that's not the time. So it is important that while fasting, we mind our manners and it is appropriate that we acclimate ourselves upon minding our manners because this is a characteristic that the believer has to adorn themselves with, whether they are fasting or not. This is just the short reminder that I wanted to remind myself and then anyone who my voice it may reach them with fa naktafi bi hadha al qadar wa sallallahu alayhi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa jazakumullahu khayran